show what I got here. I got a silver quarter, a Morgan dollar, a big brass valve, and a big lock, a railroad lock. Found this with my Amphibio. Freaking awesome find. Still has a spring inside of it too. It's a pretty crazy find. I also have four bottle caps. One, two, three, four. In different stages of decomposition. These bottle caps, I'll just str switch this one around here, right? So this is a, a fairly new bottle cap. This one's a little bit older. That one's a flattened one. Still a little bit of dirt inside. It's kind of an odd shaped one. Here's a really rusty one here. It's just falling apart. And I'll test it against the Equinox and the Deus in four kilohertz. See if I can tell the difference between any of these targets with these machines here, right? In four kilohertz. Everybody's like, oh, four kilohertz is killer on silver. Yeah, it, it is killer on silver. Turn the volume up here a little bit here. So you guys can hear it. Four kilohertz. I'll turn it up a little bit more here. Bang and target. Bang and target. Right. Bang and target. Those those coins sound the same, right? They don't they're not the same numbers, but they sound the same, right? I can't tell how big I can't tell if that's a big target or not, right? I can tell a little bit. Right? I can't tell that that's a big target right there. I'll go with this lock right here, brass lock. Right? They all sound the same. I can't tell how big that target is. Now I'll go with these bottle caps, this really toasted one here. Right. Zero discrimination. That toasted one on the end there, it's not even hitting it. In four kilohertz with an Equinox. <clears throat> In the hop program, I can tell how big targets are, right? I can tell how big targets are and I can call out every single bottle cap that I sweep over. I haven't really hunted a lot in four kilohertz because I just get a lot of EMI like this EMI right here. This is a stock hot program here with the x35 9 inch coil and i'll go over to four kilohertz come on come on stock hot program four kilohertz right here i can tell it's a lot bigger target right there It's kind of overloading a little bit on it, right? Listen to this big valve here. Humongous overload. All three of those targets sound different. I can tell the size on them, even in four kilohertz. When you start going up in frequencies, like with the HF coil, you can really tell how big the targets and how deep the targets are just by the tone, not looking at the numbers, right? Major overload, right? Major overload, listen to this sound difference nice and tight it's a major overload so you listen to it now listen to these bottle caps here iron right right it's iron i can reject that by ear if i want to here's another bo bottle cap right here see how it's clipping out there You can hear it clicking and crackling on me, right? This and this right here. See, it's crackling. It's giving me a little bit of chirps and crackles and pops, right? 
pissen nu. Sige. See, it doesn't do that on the coin. I get right up next to it, right? It's an overload right next to it, right? Listen to, listen to the bottle cap. It's, it, a lot of chirping action, action, you know, with the bottle caps. You see me in my videos, no matter what frequency I'm in with the, with the dais. I can call bottle cap first second I swing over it, right? With the Equinox, not so much. You really have to work that coil a lot to figure out that it's a bottle cap. I can swing over bottle cap no matter what frequency I'm in in hot program and it will give me that bottle cap tone or that iron tone because the iron tones are actually wrapped up inside of that non-ferrous tone, right? Or even on the bottle caps, right? It's, it's a ferrous target but it's still, all machines will fall on them. But I want a machine that's going to alert me that that's junk just by one swing over it. And that's what the Deus does. It alerts me that is a bottle cap. I still dig them out because I've found a lot of rings and jewelry and coins in the same hole as a bottle cap. And it'll give you that bottle cap tone no matter what, right? And if, if they're harder to pinpoint with some machines, you're probably gonna skip that up, right? And the Deus just pinpoints the bottle caps really good. Especially with the higher frequency coil, you know, even at lower frequencies, the HF coils at 14 kilohertz really perform well. You can really identify those bottle caps and you can pinpoint so easy with the Deus. There's just no comparison, right, to the Deus, how it, how it pinpoints and how it separates targets out, especially in hot program, you know, around iron, you know, you do, do get a lot of dragging tones, you know, it brings the tones down on your non ferrous targets a lot, but I've learned what to listen for, right? It'll actually be just a not an iron tone, right? Anything that, that's not an iron tone or something that you can pinpoint in the iron, you know, you want to get those targets out, you know, and it does perform well in pitch tones, you know, but you have to discriminate in pitch tones and uh, you, you lose your target, you lose your pinpoint on in pitch tones a lot. But if you're in an area where, you know, you're, there's a lot of relics been found in some heavy iron, you know, the pitch tone's the, really the way to go because it doesn't drag your tones down like full tones does. But I've done a lot of testing with pitch tones um, and against uh, the full tones. And the full tones, I just, I just learned what to listen for, right? It's, um, it's a lot more difficult to, um, dig in iron in full tones i i understand that but i just i can i can hear those targets come out of the ground a little bit better um i can pinpoint them a little bit better in full tones even though they don't sound very good you know i'm not going to be going super deep in iron anyway so you just got to have that factor in mind you know you're not going to be really digging a lot of deep targets in thick iron right no matter what machine you're using but i i've had some really good results with pitch tones but not nearly as as good results as the full tones in iron but in clean ground you know i can't really use pitch tones because i'll just be digging up a lot of small little teeny targets that are not really worth digging up and i have to be looking at my machine when i'm in pitch tones you know it's it's kind of a there's advantages and disadvantages to digging uh with pitch tones you know if you want to get all the non-ferrous out of the ground pitch tones are a really good way to go but you know, if you're in, in uh, cleaner ground and you're just getting coins or in a park or something, full tones really performs very well because I can tell exactly what that is in the ground there. Not exactly every time, but I have a better chance of getting more out of the ground in full tones because I don't have to look at my screen. I don't have to put dial anything in. You know, I don't have to worry about any discrimination or any tone breaks. The full tones just has it all for like a park setting. You know, I can just tune my ears into those coins and those, that jewelry. That jewelry just gives me a certain tone with, um, with, with hot program, right? In pitch program, I really can't tell what I'm digging up, right? So, you know, it's hard to, hard to, to judge if it's going to be a deeper, big target in pitch tones. And in full tones, I can tell the size of that target 
really good and the depth and the conductivity. You know, I want all three of those dimensions in that tone because I'm not looking in my machine. And with the, the Equinox, I just struggled, you know, um, trying to pinpoint those bigger targets or even know how deep that target is because they all sound the same, right? Um, it matter, matters how really how much iron you're in, but um, Equinox just gives me that same same tone on a big target and a small target. You know, the, the bigger iron is pretty evident, you know, the bigger deep iron with any machine. But with the Deus, I can tell exactly how deep that is. And that's pretty important for me, knowing how deep that target is so I know how big of a hole to dig on my initial stab into the ground. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.